What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Welcome back to AKW Q&A. This week, of course, we're answering your questions that you guys left in my Discord server. Link for that is in the description. If you're not already in my Discord server, I highly suggest you join. It's just a generally a pretty damn good place to be. Um, I go in there and just chill all the time, um, playing games, doing just whatever in there. And uh, it's, a, it's a good place just to hang out and uh, make some new friends or whatever. So I do suggest you join either to chill in there with me or to uh, leave some questions for the next episode of the Q&A series. Speaking of Q&A, let's get into the first question of this week's episode. Our first question this week is coming from Nero and they asked, Although the Colored Bog is a Legion weapon, do you think that bringing it in nation form on Nogas birthday is a good idea? If so, what would it look like? Well, I can't describe what it would look like because I'm not an artist. Um, however, bringing it to the nation on Nogas birthday is a good idea, I think, but I think the best time to merge some Legion and, no and Nogas items, because Legion and Nogas are obviously like sworn enemies or whatever, um, is World Peace Day. World Peace Day is sometimes celebrated in AKW, and there's been stuff in the past, I believe, but I think, honestly, it's it's such a missed opportunity that they, that they haven't combined some Legion and Nogath items on World Peace Day. Um, it's a perfect opportunity to do that, so I really think that that is, like, an amazing event to, to like, try and merge Legion and Nogath items. World Peace Day. I don't know when that is, but uh, whenever it is, remind uh, some, some AE staff on Twitter. You know, tweet Alina, tweet Dage or whatever. Tweet whoever you think you need to tweet to uh, get them thinking about merging some Legion and Nogath items, because I think that would look really, really cool and would be perfect for World Peace Day. Our next question is coming from Technix, and they asked, Why do some AKW, some YouTubers, get more cute, or is this a type of AKW downloaded? So obviously that makes no sense, um, and this is a meme within my Discord server. That like statement that Technix said there, that is a meme within my Discord server. So why do some AKW, some YouTubers, get more cute, or is this a type of AKW downloaded? That word for word is a comment that I got from a guy by the name of Zika Urubu, um, is his name, and he made that comment on a video uh, quite a while ago, and I noticed it, and it was like, what does that even mean? That is like kind of hilarious. Um, and so, yeah, it's very odd. It was an odd comment, and it was two months ago. Now, I, I'm like completely just, this comment was just like a complete meme, and everyone found it hilarious, but it was like, okay, what is this guy actually trying to ask? So two months later, I replied to this comment and asked him, what did you mean by this? I genuinely don't understand what you're asking. And then he replied, Renegade, it is an honor to respond, but the day I asked this, I was with a doubt why the quality of your AKW was better than mine is I discovered that the quality of the video, thanks for the understanding, and it was just, this is like, this guy is just, he's cl he clearly doesn't speak English as his first language, so it's completely understandable, you know, he's, it's fine, but, but like, it's just, honestly, I find it really hilarious, and a lot of other people did as well, so, uh, and then, um, I commented, you make zero sense, but I love it. You're literally a meme within my Discord server. I've posted screenshots of your comment before, and people think you're you're hilarious. Well done, sir. And then he re responded one week ago. I haven't actually read this response yet. He said, haha, okay. It's that I'm Brazilian. I do not speak English anymore, then and maybe. But on this day, I published and I discovered that this was the image quality of the video, not the image quality of your AKW. But thanks for the understanding. With love and stand your beloved sub. What an absolute god. I love that guy. He's such a- oh my god, what a fucking god. It's so funny, but like, he's- ah, oh man, it just- ah, oh, I just love it. I just love this guy. He's a god. Ah, oh, man, it's so funny. Next question is from- uh, it's not a word I can pronounce, I don't think, so I was SHDGBXB, um, and they asked, How should A improve the player base? So I think the biggest thing is that new players um, in today's in today's like day and age, uh, when they join AKW, unless they've like never played like many games before, and it's like one of their first games ever, they're gonna like be underwhelmed by the experience. I firmly believe that AKW is a really boring game, and that um, it's not a particularly exciting or interesting experience for those who are like first playing the game or whatever or when they like come across this game in like today's day and age you know 10 years ago or like how long long has the game's been alive you know, like eight years or whatever um when it was first released it was like yeah this is a cool like browser game it's a uh, it's you know it, it um it's fun and you can you can get items and quests do questing and stuff and it's all in your browser and it, it was like a really cool thing but it's like eight years later and it's still like pretty much the same game and it's like 
yeah, it's really underwhelming. So I think personally, the best way to improve the player base is to make the game just fun, to make the game fresh and new and fun again. And from there, then they can start marketing the game and promoting it and stuff. And uh, and then once they get n once they get new players, the new players are gonna like actually stick around rather than uh, quit after a short while after they get bored of it inevitably. Um, that's just my opinion though, you know, I know a lot of you guys won't share that same opinion as me, so that, that's fine, but, you know, that's, that's just what I think, um, but you never know, my, I might be completely wrong, but uh, that's just my two cents on the matter. VHL asks, should AE stop making hard OP classes to get and make some starter-based and easier to get classes? Um, I'm not, I'm not, like, part of the belief that this is a, this should be a thing, I don't think. Um, to be honest, I think AE should... It's it's a tough situation because I kind of would like to say that I think they should stop making classes in general and like make the classes that are already in the game worth your while. But at the same time, AE kind of has like built a lot of their fan base off of just like getting people hyped over classes. I know I get pretty hyped over a new class that gets released, even though like I kind of hate it, the fact that they release so many of them. So really, it's a, I think it's a really tough situation. Uh, I... On, like I said, on first impressions, I'd say I think they should stop, but in the current way AKW works, with the current, like, kind of, you know, hype that they get surrounding classes and, you know, just the general way AKW works, I think it's good to release new classes. Um, but uh, it's really difficult for them, I think. Ideally, the game would be really fun and every class would be, like, use useful and unique in its own way, and the fact that there are, like, 80 classes should mean that they don't need any more, but, you know, the the... The the um the truth is that most classes in the game are completely useless, and they need to just keep releasing more classes to keep people interested in the game. So uh, yeah, I, mm, it's it's kind of a tough one. This next one is from Milu, and they asked, "Which are your best in-game items?" So uh, I guess I'll just list off the items that I think like are, like kind of I guess in-game items. Now keep in mind some of these like might not really be considered in-game items by some people, but I just remember these being difficult to farm. So we've got Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armor, um, Blinding Light of Destiny, the Enchanted Norgath Nation House, uh, Void High Lord. Um, it's it's kind of hard to remember to be honest. I haven't found anything really difficult in a long time. I've got the Legion Castle House thing. Uh, I guess, um, I guess uh, Juggernaut items kind of count. Maybe uh, the Blood Orb and the Shadow Orb. I have both of those. Uh, that's like kind of it, I guess. I don't know. I've got like a bunch of juggernaut items as well. Um, I think I've got like most of them. So yeah, it's uh yeah, it's I've got I've got a decent amount, I guess. Um, the ones I'm missing are like the Necrotic Sword of Doom, um, the what's the uh, Paladin Nogath set that one, and I don't I also don't have the Legion, uh, the uh, Doom Knight Nogath set either. So yeah, I'm missing like a couple of of uh, end game items for like especially Nogath, but um yeah, I got I got a couple, I guess. Next up is a question from Abood. And they asked, what do you think a better approach would be in the server rewrite? Making it that certain classes out of the hundreds we have work better than the rest in certain situations? Or make it so that standard, that the standard tank healer DPS build in every MMO necessary to advise teamwork against harder bosses? Or even make every class complex, similar to Shadowstalker of Time, so that soloing is fine as long as it takes a bit of skill, thinking, and creativity with combos. So he's basically asking... Um, there are three ways, which of the three ways he, that he listed it should be uh, the way that they handle classes. Should they make every class unique and interesting in their own way, which I think is good, like I think that's a point that you, they should just take into consideration anyway. Um, or make it so there are tank, healer, and DPS classes and you've got to combine them to uh, take down bosses and such, which I also really like. I love that idea and I would that's probably my favorite out of the three ideas. Or make every class complex, similar to Shadowstalker of Time, so that soloing's fine, and so you can solo stuff, but it's just really difficult, and you've got to, like, you know, have your head screwed on tight to make sure you, you know what the fuck's going on. Um, I think a combination of the three is, like, the best uh, outcome here, or, I guess, idea here. Um, you know, classes need to be interesting and unique, um, but at the same time, you know, they, they need to, I think they, they definitely need to have uh, tank healer and DPS classes. Um, and not have classes that do all three of those things by themselves. Um, and then I also think that classes should be complex. I think that's how it works in WoW, is it not? Um, classes, the, all the classes are unique in their own way. Um, they, uh, they all have like tank healer DPS builds. Um, 
and they all are, are, are difficult to use in their own like kind of niche ways. So yeah, I, I think the way WoW does things, I'm not like I, I'm not familiar with WoW at all, but all my friends play WoW, and so I kind of have like an idea of how it works. Um, but yeah, I think the way WoW does things is really good. I think that they have that down pretty damn good and well so i think that is where aqw could look for some inspiration and i know they do and they they uh, have done in the past looked at wow for inspiration on, on certain ideas so yeah just look at the way wow does things i guess this one is coming from denzel and they asked you say you hate minus classes but i think they're great because you can sit and button mash while watching a movie or doing stuff on your phone and then after the farm you can enjoy the rewards of the time spent button mashing what are your thoughts on that side of the argument? So, I totally understand that, um, but I think it's pretty easy to shut down this argument because AKW is a game, and games are supposed to be fun. What what's like? Okay, we need to, let's let's get philosophical here. What's the point in playing AKW? Not not like farming items. What not, like keep asking the question, right? What's the point? Like if you just keep delving deeper, what's the point in playing AKW? I like you know farming items and showing them off and dress up. Okay, that's great. What's the point in that? Uh, I like making other people feel jealous of me. What's the point in that? You got to keep asking yourself and diving deeper. You know what is the actual point? And eventually you get to the, the question and the answer is always because it's fun, because I like it, because it brings me happiness, it brings me satisfaction. In my mind, if a game is so fucking boring that you have to watch a movie to actually deal with just playing the game, then that is not fun. That's like you're doing a chore. Your mum has asked you to go fucking clean the dishes and so you're making it you're making it less monotonous by watching a movie while cleaning the dishes you know what I mean like it's that sort of situation it reminds it literally reminds me of my mum asking me to go do some chores is how I feel about AQW and so this argument is like I understand it and like yeah okay that's great like I, I and I you know I can relate like I, I enjoy watching movies and stuff and listen to music and stuff by playing games but you've got to draw the line somewhere like God damn, if that's the only way you can deal with playing AQW, then AQW is a terrible game. And it actually, like, I genuinely do believe that AQW is a pretty terrible game in its current state. Um, so yeah, it's... that like, That's probably, like, a really strong opinion of mine that a lot of people would disagree with, but, like, that's, that's just the way I feel about it. Like I said before, that's just my two cents on the matter. You don't have to agree with me. <laughs> this one is coming from The Real QB? QB? I think that's how it is. Um, 101 and they asked is there a reason that AQW hasn't remastered the story campaign yet? Please let me, let me know because I wish there was voice actors and actresses um, So yeah, I, I mean I'm not sure if they should make voice actors and actresses But I do think that, that the storyline, you know the main campaign should be like really good I think that's a, like a part of the game that I think should be really good and, and luckily I think that out of all the elements of AQW I do think that the Chaos Saga is like one of the stronger parts of the game I do think that that, that playing through that saga for the first time um, as long as you're not like, I, I think it's weird, as long as you're not like really used to like really good MMORPGs and you're not like, you've not, you're not playing AQW after you've played like a game like WoW or whatever, I think that generally, yeah, I, th I think that the, the Chaos Saga is one of the better parts of the game, but if there was ever a situation where it wasn't, I think that they should make it really, really good. You know, the Chaos Saga, the main story, should be the best part of the game in my opinion. It should be the part that... Every, everyone just really loves and then after they play that they should then get into you know the other parts of the game you know the other side stories and all that um but yeah the main campaign i think it is already like one of the stronger parts of the game um but if it wasn't i think that it, it definitely would need like a proper remaster and uh um and a bit of a once over in terms of uh making things look real good and uh interesting and stuff bar lan or ba ba yeah, Baolan, I guess, is the only way to pronounce that. Is this is the cycle of A to survive the market is making new projects and ditching their older projects, like AQ3D being their new priority over AQW, taking away most of their assets to AQ3D and leave, leaving nothing to few on AQW. Is it really essential for A to adapt and make new games, or just to continue to strive and improve their loved and older games? So first of all, I'm really, I really don't like it when people say that, that AQW has been abandoned. Um, I really, really, really don't like that because it really hasn't. AQW, uh, let's look at it from a, from a business standpoint. AQW is by far AQ, AQ, AQW is by far AE's biggest moneymaker. 
they make a vast majority of their money from AQW, and then like probably the next biggest one would be like Harrowmart, and then the next biggest one from that is probably like maybe AQ3D. Not entirely sure, but they uh, definitely make most of their money from AQ AQW, um, and most of their Harrowmart sales are driven from AQW as well. So uh, it's I don't think it's been abandoned. Is what I'm trying to say here. Um, I definitely think that they are working on AQ3D a bit more, um, and they are trying to make it good. And by the way, AQ3D I think is already a better game than AQW. Like in terms of just pure like, is this game better than AQW? Let's look at the mechanics, the gameplay, the you know the combat, all those. If you just break it down into the elements of what each game is, AQW has way more content, but AQ3D I think is a much better game. I think that AE has made a much better game than AQ AQW with AQ3D, and that's not not a surprise to me at all though, because AQ3D is made in Unity. It's made in it's it's, it's made in a new engine. It's made with a. Uh, new ideas in mind and it's been built from the ground up in um, like a modern age whereas AQ3D was made in like 2009 or 8 or whatever so it's not surprising at all that AQ3D is better but in any way um, AQ3D I mean I, I don't think it is a cycle for them to ditch AQW they're making AQW on like Steam and they're bringing it to mobile and stuff so they're definitely not abandoning AQW um, I think they have abandoned games like Dragon Fable and Adventure Quest but I think it kind of makes sense because those games have uh, like a lack of content and a lack of players and stuff and they're quite old and so it is it does kind of like make sense to for AE to ditch those games but at the same time you know I can't really comment on that because I never played a, uh, Adventure Quest or Dragon Fable um, or Mech Quest or whatever all those games so I, I can't actually speak for how those games are and how they work and all that because I haven't actually played them but I do think that they ha probably have abandoned those ones but not they haven't abandoned AQW yet our next question is from Ninja with a Rocket Launcher and they asked has AQW neg negatively impacted your life aside from the frustration like time consumption and all that uh, so yeah definitely 100% it has um, in terms of, like my YouTube channel definitely has um, it's obviously very time consuming to make videos and stuff and so, you know, my social life, you know, my school and all that, it's obviously taken a toll or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's like a, it's just like a hobby of mine, I guess. So, um, I don't, I don't mind, but, uh, um, school definitely takes, uh, in terms of just AQW itself, um, has definitely impacted my school because, um, I remember, I remember farming Void High Lord and I really wanted to get that video out, like, as soon as I could. Um, and so what I did was I had Puffin on my phone, and I was just playing AQW like all day at school. Like just every hour of the day, pretty much just farming AQW items and stuff. And because AQW is so mindless, I could like kind of do my work, but like not really. And so yeah, it really did impact um, school and stuff when I was farming Void High Lord. Luckily I don't have to farm any, anything super difficult any, anytime soon, so uh, that's good. But um, you yeah, know, it did definitely affect my, uh, my schooling and stuff. So yeah, def AQW definitely affects my life. Omar asks, It looks like AE isn't adding a farming pet for Monogast's birthday. What are your thoughts on that? Honestly, I'm disappointed, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for here. Uh, I, I do think that it's it's a thing that they should continue. Um, this question was left a little while ago, though, and I haven't really been keeping up with the news, so maybe it, the, it's, there's been more development on this, this topic, and maybe there is a farm, farming pet now, but let me just say this. Um, the farming pets are like kind of what everyone looks forward to for Nogas birthday. So I'm like very surprised that they're not adding one. They might, yeah, like I said, you know, this is old. This question was left last Monday. So like, I'm, I'm not sure if it's, if it's changed since then. I haven't been keeping up with the news, but if they're not, then that's kind of silly, I think. Um, but it's kind of ballsy as well, I guess, uh, because AE is definitely going to lose some money. Um, on that, you know, they could have made a lot of money off of adding a 2000 ACs uh, farming pit. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's I guess it's my my two cents on the matter, as I've said three times in this video already. Lord Vader asks, would you do Q and A videos about yourself and not just AQW? So yeah, um, I mean, I'd kind of treat that like that anyway. I kind of just try try to get as many questions um, about AQW itself and then answer all that and then kind of maybe throw one or two in there that are like personal questions and stuff that uh, I know people would probably be wondering, you know, kind of a meme used to be like people would ask if I was gay or not and then I'd like give contradicting answers like all the time and so people would like lose their minds like what the fuck is this guy gay or not? Um, that was like a meme though, I'm, I'm, not actually, I'm not actually gay, just, just sort of let you know, I'm not, I'm not gay, just, you know, just, just thought I'd put that out there. Either way, no, yeah, but like, you know, I just kind of 
throw some stuff in there occasionally. I don't think I do like entire videos though with just personal questions. But there, I know there has been times where like most of the video was like personal questions and people didn't seem to mind. So I don't know. I just I just kind of like play it by ear and just see what what's been happening, what sort of questions are being answered, asked rather. And our final question this week is probably going to get me the longest answer. Um, this is coming from Cycliff, and they asked, "Who ever thought of adding trading to AKW?" I mean, trying to add an economy to AKW is, and then he put a bunch of symbols in there. I presume he's trying to say trying to add an economy to AKW is shit or garbage or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay. Let me let me just say this: trading in AKW is a terrible idea in its current state. Let, let's just break down what, what what trading would look like. Let's let's just say that tomorrow tomorrow morning we wo everyone woke up and we uh, logged into AKW and all of a sudden. We could go up to a player, click the trade button, and ask to trade any item of any type to them. First of all, this would break a lot of things. Just, you know, classes, rare items, you know, farming for, you know, Void High Lord or Blinding Light Destiny and all those sorts of things, questings. It would break, a lot of stuff in the game would break, just completely be broken. So let's, let's make a revision then. Let's lock certain items away from being tradable. So you can't trade certain quest items, you can't trade, you know, really hard to obtain items, you can't trade classes, you can't trade rares, you can't... Okay, then in that case, what the fuck's the point? What's the point in being able to trade, you know, default staff for someone's default sword? You know what I mean? Like, you, you just end up trading just useless shit. So... I think trading is always considered like a really hot topic because a lot of people sort of dream of a day when they can walk up to a player and ask them to give them Void High Lord and that player would just go, yeah, sure, take it. And, you know, they've always dreamed of having, you know, Void High Lord and so they're, they're really happy to, to see that. You know, I personally don't see many advantages to having trading in AKW. Um, and the economy do isn't like built around that, I guess, in AKW. There is very little economy in AKW already. Um, so what basically what I'm trying to say is, Adding a trading system is either gonna A, break the game, or B, be so gimped and so like, like, uh, have so many of its capabilities stripped away that it'd just be pointless anyway. I think that trading, honestly, is like a really pretty terrible idea. Please though, this is like an issue that I know very little about. I just have, kind of have like a kind of a strong opinion about it. So please, by all means, have a conversation in the comment section down below. I'm really willing to just listen to your ideas and get some uh, more like positive thoughts about trading and stuff and about you know what it might mean because in my, I, my, in my mind I'm pretty set on the idea that there is almost no advantage to having trading in AQW. So if you've got some ideas about you know what might be what good might come of trading then let me know in the comments down, section down below. I'm I'm willing to listen to anyone on this matter because I, uh, I know very little about it to be honest but uh yeah, this, this, by the way, this guy's asking this question because there's been a lot of rumors lately about them adding trading to the game. They're actually, like, considering it, I believe, and they're, uh, and, this, you know, once the server rewrite is done, they're thinking of, uh, maybe adding that in. So, yeah, just let me know. Let me know what you think of it, and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a conversation in the comment section down below. Or, you know, let's bring, let's bring this video full circle. Discuss it with me in my Discord server, you know. Join my Discord server. Get in there. Get in there, boys. Um, uh, I want to talk to you. I want to have a conversation with you all, and, uh, See how, see how you're going, see what's going on, eh? Yeah. Um, but either way, though, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.